Today on A Commonly Good MTG, we're playing a mono black control deck I found off of the uh, Mythic list over on Tap GG. I, I look, always look forward to playing a good mono black deck. The only thing was this deck was originally called Mono Black Aggro, and when I saw these cards, I thought, "Ooh, how can these cards be aggro? Yeah, it turns out, yeah, that's not the case. They just got it wrong. This is a mono black control deck. So anyways, if that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned. Uh, Find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I'm your host. And if you have them, put on your 2D glasses now. Dr. Yukon Socket. Yes, thank you. Film for a live studio audience. Thank you so much. You can suck it. Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters. And I'm bringing to you a deck I found over on Untapped GG. I was fishing around onto the mythic list and I found this deck called Mono Black Aggro. Is what they advertise it as by... Sa San Sanu Sanyu something like that I don't know D S A N U E and uh, I decided to play it. What I quickly found out is this is not mono black aggro. It is mono black control. Uh, he specific the, the Sanyu specifically named it mono black control. So yeah, we're playing mono black control. I'm sitting there. I'm like, where's all my creatures if we're playing mono black aggro? Thought, what kind of weird things are we gonna do with Ashiok? At five, that's going to make this into an aggro deck. Nope, that's not the case whatsoever. Why is my hand completely filled with creature kill right now? Yeah, that's exactly the way this stuff sort of works out. All right, so anyways, mono black control. That's what we're playing today. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the cards in this deck. We'll talk about how this deck should work, and then we'll go out and we'll crush some hopes and dreams. All right, what do we got here today? We've got uh, creature kill, uh, hand hate, creature kill, creature kill, creature kill. Creature kill, uh, graveyard hate, hand hate, and creature kill. More creature kill. So, as you can see, control, 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 control. This punishes them for drawing a card, rewards you for drawing a card. Allows you to draw more cards than you would normally, which works really great with Shouldred. Puts out vampire babies, that kind of stuff, right? Ashiok puts out little uh, nightmare babies and allows you to play things out of uh, exile or something to that effect. Uh, this one does more hand hate, and then you get to start digging through your through libraries and and creatures for the cards that you actually want. Brexian Flesh Gorger has Menace and Life Link, and if they try to destroy it, if they they go after him, his ward is that they got to pay life equal to its power to be able to touch him. So in your face, everybody else. And lastly, you have Virtue Persistence gains you some life, kills something else probably. And then at seven, you can start dragging things out of the graveyard and putting back into play. All great. What does this guy do? Puts out little toxic mite babies. All good, all good, all good. The big thing, though, is we've seen these cards before. Nothing here is particularly new. Long Goodbye is probably the newest thing that's in here uh, from uh, whatever the sword icon was. Whatever the last set was. I don't remember the names anymore. That was so yesterday. That was so 20th century. All right, but that's what we're playing. What are we going to do? We're going to basically kill any creatures that come out. They try to swarm us. We'll just wipe the board. Suck it. Things that cost two mana or less. Uh, we'll start going after their hand. Just mercilessly going after their hand. So between any creatures they put out and their hand, we're going to be parring that stuff down. Eventually, we'll start throwing out our own dudes and uh, killing them. There you go. That's it. Top of the deck, mid game and later. That's when we get our own guys out. Before that, it's just control, control, control. All right, so can we make this happen? Yes. Will this be any fun? Eh, it won't be too bad. So let's go out and do some damage. But before we do, let's do as we do every day. Let's say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Hands together. Dear Black King Toxroll, who dwells within the dark chambers of my heart, please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. 
Uh, we're playing against Angry Wookie. I'm not gonna even try. Yeah, I just sound a weird gargler. Keep. Two. Three. We're fine. This guy wants to kill creatures. Four. I'll start putting down some tissue paper guys here in a second. All right. That seems to be killed. Five. Let's go say no to that forever. All right, we still got to give it up. Uh, yeah, let's try it out. What's this guy going to do? Go after his hand. Try to get rid of why you can, huh? Nope. When he gets out that other obliterator, we are screwed, unfortunately. Hopefully we get creature kill this turn. Nope, we did not. We did get to put out a nice, big, fat Phyrexian Flesh Gorger, though. No tax. Take seven life. Two creatures here doesn't look like it. All right, they're pretty swole, no attacks. Nice, here we go. Suck it, obliterator. And we win! And we win! That was glorious! Alright, we're playing against Sycamore. That's a whole lot of nothing. Keep. No to your horse. Watch it just blow over there. Like it's got wheelies on its heels. All right, man, let's play. And there we go. He had a really hard time picking out whether he just could play one mana last turn.
All right, so Path of Peril can take out the Bramble Familiar. That's no problem. Let's see what he chooses to do here. There you go. All right, so I would really dislike it if he puts out more stuff with a mana value greater than two. That's two mana. I like it. I ain't just digging. He's looking for a desert. The 27 life, that's just horrible. All right, we're not going to get a white, so we're never going to be able to do this other than for features of value two or less. I don't think he's putting anything out. This could be two or less other than Bramble Familiar. I don't know what we've got going on here. All right, there's five. Let's just go to see their hand there. Nothing for you. What do we want to grab? Liliana. Maybe that's it. Now uh, the board's starting to get crazy for us here. We need to wipe it. We don't have anything for wiping in this deck. Uh, let's see, we're going to have to grab something we need just to kill is what we need to do. Death. <coughs> let's go eat some stuff up. Another one of these. Let's go ahead and kill the Bramble Familiar within the herd, and uh, yeah, I'll attack. Let's go get some life. Alright, he's got seven. A graveyard, huh? Alright, well, looks like we could grab something cool. Anything I want to grab in particular? This guy, maybe he's strong. Four sixes to do that. What's up with saddling here?
Unfortunately, this only goes up to two mana, so that's not going to help us out too much here. That's 12. Bring both in, baby. All right, you can choose one. And I get some life out of the deal. All right, tries to attack me again. He will uh, tie out. That thing will get tied up, and then he won't be able to use it again. I think it might be time to path of peril. Hopefully I don't draw land on this next turn. Oh, I got Liliana. Great. Let's wipe his board a little bit. And... Sacrifice something. Here we go. All right, thank you, Flesh Gorger. That tasted delicious. I thought I was gonna have to like sacrifice my life or something for that. I did not. I right, let's force a discard. Beautiful. All right, we got some momentum. Oh, yes. God, that would have been horrible to get that out. And our pal Liliana can rip a party thing as long as it doesn't have haste. All right, Liliana, she's becoming a Super Saiyan. Flesh Gorger's doing what Flesh Gorger needs to do. Sacrifice. Shouldred. I choose you. And there we go, down to five. Let's bring down to three. Oh, we're doing so good. Please don't turn the tables on us. You got one card that's going to help you out. That's it. Is it enough? I doubt it. I doubt it. I mean, Flesh Gorger can, as Menace, he's going to make it through any blocker you got. Into your hand. He's got... It doesn't matter. You can only put out one guy. That's it. Flesh Gorger's got it. I can always sit back and just... Well, I guess Shoulder would only be able to do two damage. You gain four life. That would be bad for me. You just don't have the mana for it as a problem. All right, let's good game it. You only block one card. It's called Shoulder. And we win. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Goes the room. Victory. Blank is Kiku. Keep. All right, where are we going with this little little hand hate? Little little boy kill. Brexian flesh gorgers. All right. This guy's got no pet. He's got no sleeves. He invested in one capital letter. All right, let's see what that hand's got. We got some hating to do. I'll ask you for the spree. That's fine. Alright, I will kill your creature. That's an instant right there. 
You're gonna love it. Just to let you put some stuff out there. All right, two mana. What a great place to just die at. I mean, we just got to get something out at this point. Take the hit from the from the slick snot show off. I'm down to five. Killed. Very cars there, Sir Serpico. I'm ready to kill again. Let's go get some life back. I will not be as unprepared as last time. There's another one. Go give me some life there, my friend. Good job. Thank you. All right, start casting. All right, hopefully he doesn't have any hexproofness. That would be bad. All right, that's much better. Mana value two or less. That's not me. So I can just, let's just eat that thing up. Yum, yum, yum. And we win. Suck it, Kiku, you glorious uh, gruel playing bastard. Victory. All right, we are playing Sloth Ar Articus. Sloth Articus. As one names their kids nowadays. Keep. That is a fine pet you got there, my friend. A fine pet. All I could do is start killing some stuff. There's some stuff worth killing. Or Zod, Life Gainy. Uh, let's just wait. I don't want to throw away my cards. I like them too much. That's the thing I don't like about Liliana. I'll let her go out this turn. We got lots of Lilianas, don't we? All right, now I'm going to get... I mean, the only person that's going to put out any creatures to forward this is Soren. I figure I'll try to stretch this out a little bit by pumping her up, going for the manual kill here. Now we got Liliana Prime to kill. We could throw out another one if we need to. We'll bleed this guy dry a little bit. If I was him, I'd be getting pissed right now. Let's go after his hand. That'll be fun. Bunch of creatures. And we win. There we go. Suck it, sucker fish. Yeah, suck it. I are playing against Eureka Skull. Eureka, Eureka Skull. Keep. All 
I singled in. And two. We're done. Alright, you can make something harder for me to play. Don't appreciate that. Get out a nice flesh gorger. He probably has a bunch of them, but we gotta do what we gotta do. Alright, we got enough to take out whatever else he puts out next. All right, there's five. I don't know, I'll put another one out, that's fine. And I'm, I'm just gonna let Liliana stew. I just like my cards too much, unfortunately. There's something we can get rid of. Throw it away now. Throw it away, throw it away, throw it away, throw it away now. We get by and prehistoric know-how. All right, we're doing good. Now it's time for things to go horribly, horribly wrong. What do you get rid of, Liliana? Yep, that's fine. All right, there's six, and we win. In your face, Eureka Skull. Suck it. All right, we're playing against Ponce Main. Ponce Main, Ponce Main. Keep. I hope they put out something little I can kill. That'll be fun. I was, I touched your butt. All right, nothing to do. Legendary. All right, because that we're gonna put out the trespasser. So rip it apart graveyards. This is the end of our creature kill. And there we go. That guy did not like being manhandled this way. Victory! All right, so we are with mono, black, control. Um, ended up being a great deck as far as like getting those wins in. So, um, yeah, let me just take a look back over here at what we ended up getting off. We got 60%. It was a good thing. I mean, there were a few decks I just gave up on. I wasn't going to play against uh, artifact decks. This deck does not do well against artifact decks. Why is that? Because they come out with artifact creatures that are bigger than five. And then we've got a whole bunch of go for the throats, which don't go after artifact creatures. So we start playing against artifact creatures. This deck starts to suck it. You think, that's fine. We got Liliana. We got Shoulder's Edict. Turns out they don't go as far as you want. We have no white other than Myrix in the best situation. So uh, you can't play Path of Peril to destroy all creatures. I, I got to think maybe this deck might be balanced a little bit better if we played with maybe some newer cards. 
Um, but, you know, this is what we got off of the uh, Mythic list. This is what somebody was doing very well with today. So, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously it still works and it's still doing a really good job. All right, let's just see uh, who was the MVP, who was the most valuable player. Playing control, you know who it was in this case? I believe it was, I believe it was Liliana. I mean, she. I don't like getting rid of my own cards, but when you can just get dig down to it and force people to discard a card every single turn, building yourself up and just enough so that if they've tried to put a creature out, you can kill it and then keep after their hand after that. If you can get that kind of pressure going, Liliana is the screw that will turn in a victory for you. The other person that did fantastic, the other deck that or the other card did well, Brexian Flesh Gorger. For some reason, it was always showing up, and that lifelink from it was doing fantastic. The menace allowed me to have a little bit of evasion. Um, I even managed to get it out at seven one time. That was how long the games went. We were playing a control deck, so therefore long games tend to be the fashion. At first, the thing is, when I picked this deck up, it was called Mono Black Aggro. I didn't check the actual name of it out. Uh, but according to the actual uh, owner of the deck, San Desanyu, uh, he called it Mono Black Control. So, and I believe it, because I know when I was playing this deck, it just kept getting control, control, control. Tons of it. It felt like I wasn't doing anything aggro at all. So I believe this is a Mono Black Control deck and that the automatics over on Untapped GG just named it wrong. They saw some other things and called it Mono Black Aggro. Maybe it was because, I mean, I did play a number of games pretty quickly. But maybe it was more because those people were giving up as I was just killing all their creatures and forcing them to discard. That's probably it. But anyways, as far as who's the MVP, let's give it to Liliana the Veil. Congratulations, Liliana. Don't look behind you. Somebody's looking at you right now. All right, let's just see what was the was this deck competitive. I got it off the Mythic list. It's got a 60% win rate. Yeah, I'd say this is a competitive deck. Definitely well within the whole plat Platinum Mythic level type of things absolutely i would say this thing has a competitive side to it and is well worth playing if you're looking to win games so absolutely uh number two was this deck fun um it was fun when you were playing against creature decks i what i didn't like is when i they put out creatures and i had nothing but creature kill so the game just pretty much went they put out a creature i killed it they put out a creature i killed it they put out another creature i killed it and then they just gave up. That kind of was stupid. But when I was able to you know, kill some stuff, kill some stuff, get some own, my own creatures out, they tried to do some stuff. I came in and attacked. You know, we were attacking and killing and going back and forth. Yeah, that was a good game. And this deck did that a little bit. What I disliked was when I went up against uh, large-ish artifact creatures because every card in my hand was essentially a giant turd and it sucked. And we didn't have the board wipes to handle it. This thing really is trying to take out low-end, non-artifact creatures. It goes crazy against Mono Red or whatever. But uh, yeah, yeah, not not the, the new uh, standard when it comes to um, Azorius. That's just bad for this deck. So anyways, it was hit or miss depending upon what it was considered fun. It just depended on who you're playing against. Was this deck interesting? Um, I thought it was going to be Mono Black Aggro. And when I saw the cards in here, I thought, ooh, I got to play this. Because I don't quite understand how this is aggro. Uh, so knowing that's mono black control, eh, it's not as interesting as I thought it was going to be. There was a lot of control. There was a little bit of of uh, discard cooked into it between Liliana and the duress. Uh, we got yeah, like I said, lots of creature control where we're taking things out. We got the ability to go after people's graveyards, and then we're relying upon our planeswalkers to kind of put creatures out. Then we have got some life gain in there too. It was a good deck. I can see how it wasn't as control as Esper is. Uh, I was relying upon Murex to put out babies. That's how desperate I was getting there with the creature base. So eh, it's not very interesting. The cards are kind of old. Eh, it was all right. So I'm going to say no, it wasn't an actually a very interesting deck as far as looking for new things or great synergies or anything. It was just a mono black deck doing mono black stuff. All right, so let's add this up. Was it a competitive deck? Yes. Was it fun? Hit or miss? Was it interesting? Not really. All right, so let's add that up. That is so weird. How am I going to rate this thing? I'm going to give it an A-. minus. I'm going to give it an A-, minus just because being that it is a very competitive deck and doing a great job in that way, I've got to give it at least in the A category there. But seeing that it was hit or miss when it came to fun, 
And how wasn't that interesting? I'm just gonna say it was at the base level. Basically, you're gonna play this deck if you're looking to play black. Maybe you're a little pissed off at the world and you just wanna win a few games. And if that's the case, then this is a perfect revenge deck. Go for it. But if you're looking to just uh, to play something interesting, have a little fun, eh, this might be a little boring for you. All right, so there you go. This is an A- minus deck. If you decide to play with this deck, I hope that you have more fun with it than I did. All right, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. See you next time, Space Cowboys. Later.